Shares of Barnes & Noble getting hit as the company issues what could be its final chapter as a public concern. Brian Saws is here to discuss. He's the CEO of Bellis. Yuck. Barnes & Noble, can they win? Can they actually survive as a freestanding public company? Well, uber yuck. I look at these results and there's no, I have no confidence in this company right. surviving as a company. Digital sales, which the whole market was hanging on, they were looking at, this company is selling digital across platforms, down 8.5%. Eight the company's profits were down significantly on much lower sales. So I think they have to cut more expenses to have any chance of surviving. But as we look through the results, the, the Nook entire division, the entire digital thing, is a disaster. Mm -hmm. It's an unmitigated disaster. But the retail stores, the things folks can go to and shop at, there has to be a place for those. Is Barnes & Noble just ignoring what should be an opportunity? I mean, to be the last man standing, mm -hmm. there has to be a place for a bookstore in America, a physical bricks and mortar store at some level. You would think so, but I think it exists with a much, much smaller chain because every day, the more they continue to pump this Nook app across platforms, the stores become increasingly irrelevant. I have no reason to go to Barnes & Noble. What am I going to go there? I'm gonna buy books. There's nothing else for me to shop. Right now in retail, it's all about one-stop shopping destinations. Barnes & Noble stores give you none of that. So, so you're saying there's no reason, but they have the same concerns mm -hmm. that any physical retailer would. You, you can't carry everything. Mm -hmm. You're competing with online. You can't compete on price. You, you, you know, you're, there's a laundry list of they problems. But if they create something that, that yep. would last, I mean, it, there are stores. Mm -hmm. Every store that you're talking, every store you see in the world has the same problems. Could Leonard Riggio, the CEO mm -hmm. of Barnes & Noble, who's talking about making a bid, could he make a run at these companies? Could he make a business out of stores? He could, but he's going to have to shrink the chain. Yeah. Why do mom and pop bookstores stay open? Because it's best in class customer service and the stores are much smaller. Yeah. Barnes & Noble is a giant hulking store to books and you don't need that now in this digital age. Let's compare it to Best Buy, another mm -hmm. dinosaur that's yep. out there. That stock turned around when they got rid of a bid. They got rid of the dissident ex-CEO out there, Richard Souls, he went away with his buyout. Does that happen at Barnes & Noble? Can the company get more focused if they turn away its ex-CEO, Len Riggio? I, I'm not to use this pump. I will use this pump. I think they're just caught in a, in a bind or, or, or just a book or something because what is Best Buy doing? They're taking places on the floor that no longer make sense and putting in categories, Microsoft, Samsung stores, that give you a reason to go there. Barnes & Noble can't do that. What do they have? Starbucks. I can go to a local Starbucks. I don't need to go to Barnes & Noble Starbucks. So let's just wrap it up. Is this the final chapter? Is Barnes & Noble done? We've talked a lot mm -hmm. of hypothetical, but are they done the way it stands right now? I'm severely worried. And why I'm worried, I'm worried about management here because this company had three to four months to figure out what to do with the Nook division. They're coming today with no plan. I think there's a serious red flag, and I'm wondering about the management of the company and them steering this out of uh, potential failure. All right. They're in a lot of trouble, folks. Like it or not, Barnes & Noble, the last retail bookstore standing, looks a little shaky right now this morning. What do you think? Why don't you let us know down below? Thank you.